Meet the new faces of the food truck industry. From cupcakes on wheels to Filipino cuisine, and wood oven pizzas to Spanish American flavors. Welcome to the new age of street vendors. Rebecca, just like the other food truckers, is getting ready for Food Truck Thursday, a weekly event put on by the Tallahassee Food Truck Association. Originally, it started out of necessity. Uh, it started with the original um, six members of uh, Food Truck Thursday. We kind of all got together. Um, there was a, another guy who used to manage the event, and um, Eisenhower's heard, and we got together just to kind of communicate about what was going on with Food Truck Thursday, and we he shut down, and it you know kind of fell in our laps if we wanted to keep the event going, you know um, we had to do something. So that's how we uh, developed the Food Truck Association, and we realized that we could do so much more than just do Food Truck Thursday. Aside from the customers, the city of Tallahassee has also embraced the food truck industry by opening up the lot on gains between Bruneau and Duval Street. The grand opening of the lot was held on March 27th, and every Wednesday from 10 to 2, the food truck court will host multiple trucks catering to the downtown area. On the buffalo one is um, buffalo sauce, blue cheese, lettuce, tomato, that's good. Despite the city's support, there are still a few hurdles that come with owning a food truck. Um, we still take risks though. Somebody might ask us to come out and we have no idea. It's always a guessing game. You never know. Um, you could go to a place and you could think this is going to be really slow and then you sell out of everything. You can pre prepare a ton and think it's going to be really busy and then you might not have a good night at all. So it's, it's always, it's very unpredictable business for sure. We've already seen three trucks close this year. So it is, uh, you know, a quick industry sometimes, but hopefully we'll be able to stick it out. Meet Wyatt, a part-time construction worker and a full-time food trucker. He and his uncle own the truck, and he tells us that business has been steady, but it definitely has its ups and downs. You know, we do really good at events, food truck Thursday and catering, but daily uh, we wish more people would come. Yeah, some of the other food trucks really do good on a daily basis, but right. not don't do very well at events, and we're the opposite. It scares me that it's getting bigger because it probably means people get more complacent and less people would come. You know, just get watered down. Yeah. But it's also really awesome for small businesses that it is growing and there is opportunity out there to make money. But what keeps these food trucks open day in and day out? These hungry customers. <laughs> the food truck industry has taken over Tallahassee. What started off as just a Thursday night event has sprouted into festival invitations, a food court to call their own, upcoming Saturdays in the park at Lake Ella, and so much more. Small that bacon, her. Oh. Oh. When I opened my truck in 2011, there were 42 licensed mobile food vendors in the Leon County area, and now there's over 70. Um, it is the fastest growing industry in the state of Florida, and that statistic comes from Secretary Lawson at DBPR, not me. Um, I think with the economy the way that it is, the low overhead and the infinite room for creativity for anyone with a culinary background, I don't think food trucks are going anywhere anytime soon. I think the relationship with the city is getting better and better. People are getting more and more accepting of food trucks and I really feel like it has nowhere to go but up from here. 